Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Greek Myth Class. I am Clara Small. Today, we'll explore the names of the planets in our solar system and its relationship to Greek myth. Over two thousand years ago, ancient Romans looked up at the sky and named some of planets after their gods. These gods and goddesses come from Roman and Greek mythology, which have many similarities. The Romans borrowed the stories and characters from Greek mythology, but gave them different names. The largest planet in our solar system is called Jupiter. In Greek mythology, Jupiter's counterpart is Zeus, the king of the gods. No wonder Jupiter is the largest planet, as the name Jupiter represents the god with the largest power. The planet next to Jupiter is named Saturn. In Greek mythology, Saturn's counterpart is Kronos, who is Zeus's father. Just like Zeus overthrew Kronos, Jupiter replaced Saturn as the king of the gods. Moving farther from the sun, we come across the planet Uranus. Uranus means sky in the Greek language. In Greek myth, Uranus represents the god sky, the husband of Earth, the father of Kronos, and the grandfather of Zeus. The Romans borrowed the same name, so in Roman myth, Uranus is Saturn's father, just as Saturn is Jupiter's father. The planet after Uranus is Neptune. In Roman mythology, Neptune is the god of the sea. The Greek equivalent of Neptune is, you're right, Poseidon, who is Zeus's brother and the owner of a powerful trident, just like Zeus' thunderbolt. In the past, people thought we had a ninth planet called Pluto, named after the Roman god of the underworld. However, it is now considered a dwarf planet. What is Pluto's name in Greek myth? Yes, you're right. Pluto's Greek counterpart is Hades, who is the brother of Zeus and Poseidon. In both Greek and Roman myths, the three brothers divided their realms between heaven, sea, and the underworld. Mars. The red planet, with valleys and volcanoes, is named after the Roman god of war. In Greek mythology, Mars is known as Ares, also the god of war. Ares is the son of Zeus and Hera. He is a very powerful god, but he often misuses his strength, causing strife and conflict. The next planet. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. In Greek mythology, Venus is known as Aphrodite, the most beautiful goddess who inspires love and desire among gods and humans. The planet closest to the sun is Mercury, named after the Roman messenger god. In Greek mythology, Mercury is called. Hermes. He wears winged sandals and sometimes a winged cap. Hermes is known as the messenger of the gods, traveling between heaven, earth, and the underworld to deliver messages from Zeus. We've covered all the planets in our solar system, except for Earth and the Sun. Earth is considered. The first goddess of the universe. In Greek mythology, she is the mother of the Titans and the grandmother of Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. In Roman mythology, Earth is the wife of Uranus, the mother of Saturn, the grandmother of Jupiter, Neptune, and Pluto. As for the Sun, there are two gods associated with it. Among the Olympian gods, Apollo, 
the son of Zeus, represents the force of the sun. Among the Titans, the sun god's name is Helios, who was born from earth and sky. We'll learn more about Helios and his son in an upcoming story. That's all for today's lesson on the planets and their connections to Greek and Roman mythology. Thank you so much for joining Greek Myth Class. The end.